Hello dear students, welcome to um, our fourth lesson in Schools of Linguistics. This uh, lesson is going to be about uh, the fact that linguistics is descriptive and not prescriptive. Linguistics is descriptive means that it describes language as it is used by native speakers regardless of whether the sentences made by native speakers respect the, the grammatical rules or not. So this basically means that a linguist just uh, describes how people speak the language, right? If they make mistakes, because there are some varieties of uh, English, for example, in the United States, if you look at their grammar, I mean, their grammar is, is, is full of mistakes, but still this is how these people speak, okay? So according to linguistics, their language is perfect. There is nothing wrong. Uh, about their language, right? So they don't, they only describe, that is the job of a linguist is to describe the sentences, the language, um, how it is uh, spoken by uh, certain uh, speakers, certain, for example, uh, or base speakers in general. So the job of a linguist is to report what native speakers say as they hear it. Don't impose any rules. Do not uh, correct their grammar or anything, just describe it. That's the job. So the scientific study of language claims that there is nothing in the sounds themselves that would qualify them as right or wrong. Okay, if you look at the sounds of language, there is nothing that would, there is no uh, standards or measurements that you would take uh, or adopt to qualify a certain sounds, certain language, for example, as right or wrong, okay? On the other hand, we have this um, traditional way of studying language, for example, grammarians. Uh, they have been prescriptivist in their study to language. That is, they focus on differentiating correct uh, usage of language from the incorrect one. So, for example, prescript prescriptivists, sorry, Prescriptive, prescriptive uh, grammarians impose rules on native speakers. For example, they say you, that you shouldn't uh, end up a sentence with a preposition. For example, you cannot say, for example, a sentence like, what are you looking at? Okay, don't end a sentence with a preposition. Or do not use double negation. For example, I don't have nothing. Okay, for example, the correct one or the correct um, form of this is I don't have anything okay but according to linguistics I don't have nothing even we have double negation here we have not and nothing it's okay it's language it's perfect uh, people use it as this and it communicates meaning and they understand each other so there is no problem with the language as long as it, it communicates meaning there is nothing we can um, uh, I mean we can we can correct about it okay so this is the, uh, the difference between descriptive linguistics, descriptive linguistics and prescriptive grammarians, okay, the old, uh, uh, the, the traditional way of studying language. Well, this is it uh, for today. Thank you very much, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one.